Before going towards having multiple sheets and customization of each cell, I would like to show you a very simple issue you might face when using Laravel Excel for the first time. It may not be an issue, but if you are working with integers and you want numbers, this might be an issue. So for this, I'm going to add a new column. First inside the headings function, I'm going to add a new heading, failed orders count. And inside the map method, I'm going to append a new value. So order where the status is failed. And I only want the orders that are failed for this specific user. So where user ID is equal to the current row ID. And I'm going to get the count of this. All right, now let's go to the browser, hit reload. So our file has been generated. Now let's take a look at our file. Inside our export file, we have a column for the failed orders count and we can see the count of the orders that have failed. But right at the top, the second row, we have an empty cell, which wasn't supposed to be an empty cell, but zero because there are no failed order for this user. So by default, what happens is Laravel Excel compares only the value of the cells or columns and not the type of the value. So here zero is equal to empty string. And in order to verify this, you can simply go to your browser, open the inspect and type in zero equals equals empty string. And you can see the result is true. But if you compare both the value and the type, then it is false. So in order to overcome this, Laravel Excel provides us an interface called with strict null comparison. So let's implement that interface. At the top, I'm going to write with strict null comparison. And now let's hit reload. And now inside we can see our zero is back. So it's not showing the empty string. That is just one simple customization of the columns. But we will see many more of these after the multiple sheets export. So now let's export an Excel file with multiple sheets.